There's a story I know about a little girl who used to live in Portugal. She could never get to sleep. During the day, she was fine. All she wanted to do was sit on the floor and draw, and she would hum to herself while she made her pictures. But at night, she became scared because she was afraid of the dark. She would lie awake while a very old woman sat on the edge of her bed and told her stories about magical animals and strange places. The girl loved hearing these tales each night, and as they finished, she forgot about the dark and fell asleep. That little girl's name was Paula Rago, and she grew up to be one of the most exciting and important people painting today. Often, she still sits on her floor and hums while she makes her pictures, like this one, called Sleeping. I wonder what story this painting could tell. I wonder if this is Paul Orego, asleep on the floor after finishing one of her paintings. When Paula was older, she left Portugal to live in England. She never forgot how, when she was very young, she loved to hear those stories. And now, she paints stories of her own. To do this, Paula Rago collects all sorts of toys and creatures and costumes, which she gets her friends to try on in lots of different poses. Until she gets a moment or a feeling that creates the start of a story. I don't think so. It's all about getting the right mix of ingredients. Sorry. Ingredients like a rake, berries perhaps, a turtle, and a pelican. <laughs> Why not? Paul Arego takes all these ingredients and glues them together with her imagination in the painting. Because she's not trying to be a camera taking an exact picture. She wants to show the world more like it was in her childhood stories. Larger than life. Magical. So in Paula Rago's world, people come in all shapes and sizes, painted with big solid colors and large shadows. If I'm a character that's walked hundreds of miles, perhaps my feet and legs will be painted in bright colors. They'll be made stronger, larger than usual. Or perhaps my feet are larger, because I'm angry, and I'm about to stamp them again and again. The story about these people is more important than how real they look. So if they're sleeping, we want to see their big faces with large, tired eyes, or perhaps a long, heavy neck. The paint in this picture makes me feel how tired they really are. But why are they sleeping? Well... We're the storytellers. So, are the berries magic? Have they put the two people into a deep sleep? Or perhaps a spell has been put on them. By who? The pelican? Is this friend begging him to wake the other two up? Or perhaps she's just offering him some crumbs. He's just a pelican after all. Or maybe they're all tired after a long day in the sun. Except this last person, turning away, coming up with a secret plan to steal the turtle while no one is looking. Run while you can.